Perhaps the biggest fashion don't in veterinary medicine is too many people are insecure about their own bodies and they don't wear the right size. Uh, frankly, we oversize in veterinary medicine. Too often people, I think, feel like working with animals means that my primary goal is to be comfortable. And it's really not about, although we have to be comfortable, it's not about us as much as it is about what the clients are experiencing and expecting from us. So it has to be able to wear and be fit, if you will. So most people, I think, dress in a size or two or maybe even three sizes too big, especially if they're in scrubs. And then it goes right along with the first biggest problem, and that is a detachment from what's kind of current in the day because most veterinary employees spend time in uniforms. And so it's not on their radar to think about what's the latest fashion or what looks right or what is. I mean, we all have self-esteem and want to look good, but I think we're out of touch, basically speaking, with what's happening in the real world. Um, an illustration that's kind of funny is uh, every year there's a different conference not hosted by this wonderful organization in Las Vegas. And uh, at the same time that they have this conference, there is the New York Fashion Week conference as well. And so you'll see in one hall, schleppy veterinarians. <laughs> and in another hall, schlumpy. Schlumpy is the right word. Schlumpy veterinarians. And in another hall, you'll see all these people who work for fashion magazines. And it's pretty obvious who works for whom. So my goal at that meeting all the time is to be confused for somebody who works in fashion.